Today, I'm gonna to show you how to save time by syncing all of your editing in Lightroom. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning fun. And I'm so excited about today's episode because we're gonna save you a ton of time when it comes to editing. Now, one of the key features of Lightroom is the ability to sync your edits across multiple different photos. Now, what does this actually mean? Basically, anytime you make a few changes to one of your photos and you have similar photos in a series, you can sync all those changes together. So edit one image and apply those same settings to an entire series of photos. Syncing photos is incredibly easy to do and it's gonna save you a ton of time. All right guys, we got a great tutorial. Let's jump into Lightroom. So here we are in Finder, and the first thing I need to do is import our photos. So I'm gonna go to my Finder window and then simply click and drag my images from Finder into Lightroom, and it's gonna pull up my import dialog. You can also just go to your import dialog and then find your images here on this left-hand column. Now, all of these images are available for download on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below, and then you can follow along. Okay. So we're gonna import these. I'm gonna just hit the add button because they're already on my hard drive. So let's go ahead and hit import and it's gonna add my images into Lightroom. So this is a perfect example of when you may wanna sync your photos together because all of these photos were taken during the same time of day. It was the same photo shoot and basically any changes I make to one image, I'm gonna to wanna to make those to multiple. So let's go ahead and start with this photo. We're gonna double click there. Now, the first thing I wanna do is go to our develop module. Okay, this is where all of the editing magic happens in Lightroom. Now, the photo is a little bit blue, meaning my white balance was just a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is find a neutral gray in this image. In this case, this wall behind our subject is supposed to be like white or gray. So I'm gonna grab our eyedropper here and then click right here on the wall behind our subject, making that a target neutral. And you can see our white balance is completely fixed. All right, so now that we've fixed our, fixed our white balance, the next thing I wanna do is brighten up our shadows just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Give a little bit more detail in the grass area. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of clarity as well, and it's just gonna help with our mid-tone contrast, and I'm gonna pump my vibrance up. Now, vibrance is great because it tends to leave skin tones intact, but it will increase the saturation of your greens and blues and anything that's not skin. So in this case, it's actually increasing the saturation of our grass down here. Okay, now this looks great. I'm gonna scroll down. We're gonna do a couple more little edits here. Scrolling down to our lens corrections, I'm gonna go to profile and just click to enable chromatic aberration and a profile correction. So you can see here, it knows the lens that I'm using. This is a 35 millimeter, 1.4 in this case, and it automatically corrects distortion and vignetting. So here's the before with that. You can see vignetting just kind of darkens the edges, and here's the after. It corrects that as well as distortion. Okay, now in this case, I also wanna click on our crop tool. There we go. And I'm gonna click right down here and just rotate our image slightly because I want this little line to be straight up and down. So let's hit enter there. All right, cool. So let's take a look at our before and after. Pretty big difference. So here's our before as we imported it and here's the after. Now this is just the sort of thing that Lightroom is used for. When it comes to like heavier editing, that's when you wanna jump into Photoshop. But correcting your white balance and changing your shadow levels and your vibrance and even a little bit of cropping, that's perfect for Lightroom. So now that we've applied these changes to one of our images, I'll show you how to sync these to the rest of the photos in the group. So I'm gonna go back here to my library module and hit G for our grid view. So G for grid view. Now, here you can see the image that we just changed and all the images in the same series. So what I wanna do is simply click on my first image and then hold Control or Command and click on all the other images that I want to change. Now in this case, you can see that our main image is a little bit lighter than the other images. So they're all selected, but this is my main image here. Okay, now it's time to sync. All I have to do is within my library module, on my right hand column, go down to sync settings. So let's hit sync settings. Now in this case, I can sync all of this stuff together. Basically any change that I make in Lightroom, I can sync to other photos in Lightroom. 
But in this one case in particular, I don't want to sync the crop because remember we rotated our image just a little bit to make sure that line was straight up and down. Because I wasn't shooting on a tripod here, some of the images are not rotated the exact same. So I don't want to sync the crop for every other image. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck that. So jumping back into Lightroom, I'm just going to go where it says crop and uncheck that. So if nothing is checked, you just go to check all just like that. And then you can uncheck what you don't want. So let's hit synchronize and it's going to take every other setting that I made and apply it to all of the images in this series, including the perspective distortion, vignetting, white balance, every other change is now applied to my photos. So you can see how incredibly quick that is. If I had a hundred more photos during the same photo shoot, they'd all have those changes applied at the exact same time. All right, guys, you can see how incredibly simple it is to sync your images in Lightroom. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and recrop a few of these because, again, they weren't at the exact same angle as the original. Very easy to do. Simply click on your image and hit R to bring in your crop. There we go. And I'm gonna click right out here and just rotate this around until that line is straight up and down. There we go. We'll hit enter and I can see all my images here on my little film strip. So, there we go. Hit R and click and drag. There we go, till we straighten that one out. Hit R on this one. All right. So changes like this, the rotation setting couldn't be synced from one image to another because they weren't all exactly the same, but all of the other changes are available to me. There we go. And I'm just gonna crop this in just a little bit more. Beautiful. All right, hit enter, and I'm gonna hit G to get back to our grid view. And that's it guys, we can see all of these images now, all the lines here are perfectly straight up and down and everything is synced perfectly. So we can see how easy it is to sync your images in Lightroom. Now, if you wanna do this on your own, just follow these key steps. First, choose your main image and go into your develop module. Make any changes you need to improve your image. Now, in this case, we changed our white balance by clicking on our eyedropper. We changed our shadow level, vibrance level, and even changed the crop. Next, go back into your library module and click on sync settings. You can choose all of your settings or just a few. In this case, I unchecked the crop module because I wanted to do that individually for each photo. Click on synchronize and you're done. That's all there is to synchronizing photos in Lightroom. Okay guys, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget you can download these images on flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. And don't forget to share your work. We wanna see how you're syncing your images in Lightroom. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Sync your photos. This is the photo syncing dance. <laughs> Sound speeds, camera speeds. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Okay, I'm done. You guys can talk. <laughs>